Hey everybody, this is the dude representing MGTOW is the only way to live, my friends. The date is Friday, March 17th, 2017 at 11.24 p.m. Pacific Mountain Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time in the year of our Lord, my friend. That's good coffee. Uh, so basically... Oh, I'm, uh, so basically up here in Canada where I, I, I don't know what I'm, I had a whole fucking thing I was going to talk about. Fuck, I'm just going to go off the top of my head. It's much better. It's much better for me if I go off the top of my head. So up here in Canada where I live, Montreal, Canada, we had a fucking massive blizzard the other day, a couple days ago. And let me tell you, God opened up his heart soul and unleashed fucking white diarrhea on our community. And let me tell you, fucking city closed down and it was really hard to get around. Now... I went out at 3 o'clock in the morning, okay, and I saw, I got my new webcam here, so basically I can do more fluid videos that I won't be interrupted, but just figuring it out, I'm just, this is like my second time turning it on, too, by the way. What did I see at 3 o'clock in the morning? I saw fucking, by my, by, because I live, uh, a boulevard, a boulevard, a major boulevard, basically I live a block away from major boulevard, and then there's this one side street, sort of sub boulevard. I saw a whole Fleet of fucking truck snow plows, blah blah blah, like uh, sideway fucking snow plows. A whole fleet getting ready to fucking enter the boulevard. I guess at midnight or whatever time it was, I forget. About a line about ten fucking trucks or whatever it was. It was unbelievable, and it was all. I looked inside. I wanted to film it, but I didn't. I looked inside just as a social social experiment or whatever whatever the terminology would be. Just as a just as a test or whatever. I looked inside all the trucks. All fucking men right across the board, and I fucking saluted them. I went to one guy who was in the, um, the, 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 the machine that plows the sidewalk, and I looked at him, and I said, as if to say, thanks, buddy, you know, appreciate it. You did not see one goddamn woman fucking snow plowing. And I don't want to say, mean this as a misogynist. To, I've been called a misogynist, by the way. I'm not a misogynist. I just, I'm sick of being vilified by fucking feminists. Sick of it. Sick of being fucking pushed into the corner and told I'm an evil white male and I'm a pervert because I like sex and I want, you know what I mean? Fuck off. I'm done with that shit. Give that guy a salute. Uh, I, I, I don't mean this as a misogynistic rant. What I'm saying is men, feminists portray men to be useless. You're Homer Simpsons, you're Peter Griffin, you're Ed Bundy, Ted Bundy. Even though show, these shows are very funny. They portray the male to be a bumbling, mm, an idiot, and I, I and Gavin McKinnon's point. Gavin McKinnon's pointed that out to me in uh, about six months ago in one of his videos. Not me, but to the viewer. And I, I'm starting to take offense to it. You know, men are fucking not useless, fucking idiots. We get shit done. If it weren't for fucking men, the city would shut down during that snowboard blizzard. I'm sure that's that that blizzard in Montreal cost probably the city. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if it cost the city. I'm, a hundred million dollars to clean up. I have no idea what the the, the the finances to clean some shit like that. But all I know is you did not see fucking women out there shoveling. You saw fucking, maybe you saw, you know, at six o'clock in the morning when they had the single 27 year old housewife who has no fucking man who lives with her dog and her cats. Believe me, I got a bunch of those in my fucking building. You'd see her shoveling her snow, you know, but she's got no choice. She's got to get to work. But you did not see fucking men, women in that fleet of fucking... And that fleet of fucking, that fleet, that caravan of, 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 of men doing business. Uh, I'm just sick of being vilified by feminists. I'm sick of it. I told all my friends this. I am sick of it. Men are fucking gods. We get shit done. I used to be a skate, well, I still skateboard, but I started skateboarding in 1986 when I was 12 years old. Okay, and I can still do it. I probably still want to do it. But I don't anymore because I don't want to get hurt. But I still have a skill level. It's all muscle memory, conditioning, response. I get on the board and fucking I can do whatever I did when I was 20. You see as of late in the skateboard community, you see that all of a sudden women creeped into it. Okay. And I never thought I'd see the day where girls are getting good at skateboarding. There's a few of them that are creeping in and getting good doing their twists and stuff like that. But if you look at them very closely, you see... Uh, she's probably a lesbian. She's probably a fucking lesbian. They got those male traits, you know, like the, they just act like guys. And so the traditional female, the traditional male roles, men are fucking good at this. Women are good at that. And that's just the way it is. These 20, 20 year old, tw these 19 year old millennials coming in, 
at their college course and getting this brainwashed by their professor or whatever the fuck's going on to thinking that women and men are equal and a man, a woman is just as good as a man at shit like that movie Kick-Ass where you see this 12-year-old girl kicking grown man's ass. Uh, give me a fucking break. I mean, I was generally entertained when I saw that movie, but now in retrospect, having gone and taken the red pill and sort of becoming Midtown now, that, that, that fucking movie kind of offends me. It's, you know, it's completely brainwashing a generation of youth to thinking that they're just as, they're just as strong as men. Uh, give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. I remember my ex-girlfriend, she used to say to me, well, if I ever get raped, I just beat up the guy. I'm like, stupid bitch. How are you going to beat up a guy? Ah, beat him up. And I used to say to her, I said, well, why don't you just, okay, we'll call her Alice. Alice, why don't you just kick him in the fucking balls? That'll do. No, 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 I'm going to beat him up. And I, I used to try to, to, to I, I would try to basically, you know, oppress and press upon her. If you just kick him in the balls... It's going to disable him, but she doesn't understand what it's like to have balls. Ah, I'll beat him up. And I say, okay, here, let's arm wrestle. You see if you, you see, I'll see if you're just as strong as me. She had two fucking arms going, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. and after a while, I just, okay, here we go. It's just to prove my point. Done, done. So easy. It was just like a joke. Like a joke. And I remember I used to stand beside her in the mirror, and I'd say, let's compare our torsos. And my torso was like a fucking giant. This was, this was a big girl. She was like five foot seven, 130 pounds. My torso dwarfed hers, like just dwarfed it. And fucking man, I'm just I'm so annoyed with these fucking feminists thinking that they're just they're better than men. You know, I, I'm not gonna adhere to the Dick Masterson ideology where men are better than women, but we kind of are at certain shit, at most shit, anyways. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Like these women are completely fucking delusional. I got this one girl on my Facebook here. Let me let me see what she writes. And it just it annoys the shit out of me, okay? Okay, so she writes, she, she's a model, and I tattooed this girl, she, she ain't great looking, okay? She's got a big fucking nose, you know, like a big hook nose. So, yeah, you're kind of cute, whatever, you're 20, actually she's, hold on, let me let me go on my Facebook here, let me, let me, let me cue her up here, okay? Because I, I was just going off a screenshot there, okay? Hold on. I gotta read this fucking comment. It's just ridiculous. She's fucking stupid, man. And I'll tell you her age too. She's weird. This girl's weird, man. Okay, so she's born in. Okay, so she's like 24, 25. Anyways, on her timeline. Ugh. <sighs> so delusional, man, women. She's not great, okay? She's maybe a 6 on 10. You'd fuck her, but you, you know what I mean? Like, she's not. She's. Her. She thinks she's really special for some reason. I have no idea why. I'm queuing it up here. Hold on. <laughs> oh, and you, oh, there's hashtag feminist emporium in her Facebook. Oh, what a turn off. Oh, God. Okay, rants. So her rant here. Here's her rant. And like I said, let me just pre preface this by saying this girl is not special. She may be a she may be a six on ten, maybe. She's got that big fucking hook nose. And she's a fucking feminist. I tattooed her. Fucking like nothing special about her. And she came down to Montreal for a photo shoot. And I remember she was organizing on her Facebook, coming down to Montreal, book photo uh, uh, photographer's book now. So her rant is do not ask me to model for you, your company, your TF Concepts pro bono, and especially then say you're taking me out for drinks, coffee, dinner, a nice night out, and to show me off to your people. Models do not need your unsolicited, undercover dates to make you look good, or because it's a good opportunity to network. Shame on you, she writes. For being so appallingly unprofessional and degrading to the job we do. But yes, this is a job. This is what we do for an income. Because there are many of us who are self-sufficient and who take care of ourselves and lives. The reflection of this only traits back to you. Please think about how you treat others and their value before you decide to throw out unprofessional, degrading, unappreciated, inappropriate vibes. Thanks 
Thanks all you. That's all you. That's all you. Whatever that means. And hashtag we are not to be taken lightning. Hashtag we are not to be taken lightly. Hashtag strong women and men. Hashtag courtesy in in every endeavor. Hashtag re respect for the arts. Believable man. Here's another. Here's another fucking her next post. True models are not pro bono workers, escorts, dolls, trophies, sluts, whatever else you can, whatever else you can come up with, that is seen as misconstrued versions of what we actually do. Don't mess with a boss, babe. Hashtag respect my job and all yours. I mean, let me tell you, this is so ridiculous. This girl's fucking delusional, man. This girl should be fucking. Thankful to get attention from men. And first of all, I, I really highly doubt this woman is a professional model. Like, you know what I mean? This is, and first of all, modeling is not really a job. I mean, it's kind of something you do for a period between maybe 17 and 25, maybe. I mean, it's not really a fucking job. I mean, how's that a job? How is modeling a job? It's basically self-serving. I mean, what do they make, 100 bucks on a shoot, maybe? And I, I did photography, too. I, I photographed about 10, 12 girls, and... I never paid them a dime, you know, oh, God, and she wrote another one I want to write to you, it's going to really fucking set me off, man, where is it, hold on, I, I don't see it anywhere, oh yeah, here it is, she writes, and she writes, she gets annoyed, March 15th, she writes, I am not a trophy, first of all, God, I, I so want to rip into her, because I, I, I so want to say, yeah, no shit, you're not a trophy. You're not that fucking special. You're not that great. I don't know what simp man janitors are courting this girl, but she ain't that fucking great, believe me. She's not great at all, and her attitude sucks, and she's a feminist. Guys, do not do not ever go with a feminist, okay? If you go... My ex-girlfriend was a complete feminist, hardcore feminist, hardcore vegan, with a fucking massive chip on her shoulder, but she was really good looking. Really good looking. She had these fucking beautiful eyes and fucking flowing hair, and I remember when I met her, she was like 18, and her, she had those pillow lips, and she had the lip ring, and she always just put like lip gloss on her lips, and made her it, it, it like so. Imagine girl in her prime of her life with like a lip gloss. Her lip looked like an inviting pussy. She, she made she it was so inviting, but a major major pain in the ass with a chip on her shoulder. Now, if you got young guys go with a girl with a chip on her shoulder, here's what you got, here's what you're gonna expect: a girl who's always angry. For example, we'd be watching, I don't know, fucking, we'd be watching TV in bed, and Oprah would come on, and Oprah would, the subject of Oprah would be like, men and their, men and their cheating ways, or whatever, and all of a sudden, I got this angry bitch in bed next to me, because of what we're seeing on TV, and I can't get laid now, because of what's going on in Oprah, like, it's unbelievable, do not ever go with a fucking angry feminist, they're complete, and first of all, and, and they hate your fucking guts, anyways, they hate your fucking guts, Here's a girl on my Facebook now, okay? Let me write on my Facebook. This girl, I tattooed her a couple years ago, and she's a lesbian, by the way. She claims she's a lesbian. Now, I wrote, because of the snowstorm, I wrote, global warming my ass! You know, basically a little fun comment, a little comment on the weather about how, you know, if it's global warming, how come there's so much goddamn snow in March? You know, it's just a little fun little comment. I, I, never, I never fucking said there... I never... I never said I was a weather expert or anything like that. I just basically said, fuck, there's a lot of snow. Go over my ass, you know? Like, Al Gore, where are you now with uh, the uh, that documentary? She writes, this little angry 19-year-old who doesn't know shit. By the way, when I tattooed her, fucking complete white trash. Complete white trash. And I can't imagine she's really educated. She writes, her name is Kathy. She writes, you kidding? The weather is precisely caused by global warming. One comment. Next comment. She can't resist. That's why the weather's been acting so bipolar these past few years. Climate change is happening, and if you deny it, you are delusional. First of all, Kathy, how many years have you actually observed the weather? I mean, you're 19, so you, may have, you might have observed it maybe five max? I mean, I can't imagine any 14-year-old really... Looking out the world about social issues yet, they're they're not their brains not developed enough to get to that point where they're gonna start, you know, like observing shit. So how many you've been observing maybe four years, and the rest is what people have told you. You're just parroting what your college professor told you. So I wrote because I'm done with feminists. I wrote in capitals, you fuckers are triggered, and I wrote mansplaining, manspreading, just to you know throw those words in to see if she's a feminist. 
And then I wrote dot dot dot. Go fix me a sandwich, Brad. Just to see what reaction would be. Oh. Uh. <laughs> she writes. How am I a fucker for trying to educate you on me? I'm a 43 year old man. This girl's 19. How am I a fucker for trying to educate you on an issue that is unnecessarily debated? It should be clear by now that it is absolutely certain climate change is happening. That's it. That's all. Okay. So Kathy's a weather expert. <laughs> and then she goes on to one more comment to five minutes later. You misogynist, not your, you misogynist talk is killing me right now. But I'm not even going to debate that. How can you even talk like that to people and think you have any sort of credibility? I never said any credibility. I was just saying, you know, fucking let us know what they're... Unbelievable, but I guess the point is, guys. And then I write, and then she, then she writes. Sometimes I wish people could debate without. Sometimes I wish people could debate without trying to be disrespectful. But clearly, my standards are too high. She's better than us, I guess, because her standards are too high. And I write, oh, for fuck's sakes, that's what I wrote. And then later, I, don't know, I told her, wrote, told her, wrote, I wrote again, told her, go fix me a fucking sandwich, and make sure it's an incredible sandwich. Going on the credible thing. As well, I have, I know right, I too have high standards, so see you at the high end massage parlor. But I wrote massage, so massage like misogyny, massage parlor as well. My stuffy triggered SJW friend, and then I wrote, and by the way, Kathy, lighten, lighten up. I've become aware in my community, by the way, um, that in my group of friends, that a lot of them are fucking the women are escorts and they have sugar daddies. Unbelievable. I just became aware of that the other day. And I've also become aware of the, that, um, um, uh, yeah, a few of them do webcam shows, and I got to see that. A few of my female friends in my community are doing webcam shows. I got to fucking see that shit, man. I got to see that. Oh, and, uh, it's, and then it's these same girls that go around and scream, men are pigs, men are pigs, but yet they're doing sex work, forms of sex work. It's unbelievable. Guys, I am so... Fucking sick of being vilified as the evil white male, the hypocrisy, and I'm so sick of these. But yeah, getting back to the point, this girl Kathy, she's 19 years old, and she's going to educate me on on, on, on uh, climate and weather. I, I don't know, I'm not an expert on weather, but I can tell you this. In the winter, it fucking snows and it's cold. Period. All my, I've observed maybe 30, 30, I've consciously observed maybe 30 fucking winters, right across the board, every year. Cold, fucking snow, like crazy up here in Montreal, up in up in uh, eastern northern Canada, right across the board every fucking winter, freezing like shit, snow like crazy. I've seen it, I've seen it with my own eyes. Okay, I'm not a weather expert, but I don't believe. I really believe that for whatever reason, I do believe that uh, the media or whoever the powers that be or corporations or whoever's in charge are trying to fucking brainwash us for sure, for sure that climate change is happening so they can tax us or whatever, whatever. They want to control us somehow. They're doing it for something like that. I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. But anyways, the point is this girl, Kathy, has an amazing chip on her shoulder already. The point is, this is what I observed of women. I tell my young friends this, okay? Don't get fixated on a woman because women, you like them because of their looks, period. You like women because of their looks. Because when, when they're not good looking anymore, you don't like them anymore. So I tell my friends all the time, I've seen trends in women. I've seen trends in people, okay? They're 14. The boy crazy. Fucking bubbly, happy like shit. Boy crazy, happy. 19, 20, 21, they start getting angry. They hate men around 22, 23. They hate men. They're bitter feminists. You got a huge ship on your shoulder. Stay away from those fucking women if you can. Don't go with them. Fuck them, yes. But don't fucking go. Don't stress out or, oh, oh, about. Don't stress out of, over them. And don't date them. But fuck them. You know, because when they're drunk, their hormones are going to kick in. They're going to be horny. Even if they got a chip on their shoulder, they're going to let you fuck them. But stay away from the fucking 19 to 23 year old as a girlfriend. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. They hit the wall. They look like shit. But the baby rabies are starting to kick in. And they're going to be nice to guys now. They're going to start being more accommodating because they want to get pregnant. Or they realize they fucked up and they do need a man. You, I got so many women in my building who are 27, 28 year olds who have the dog and all the cats and shit like that. And you see them at 6 o'clock in the morning walking their fucking dog. Scooping up the shit. Every morning I can just fucking open the door and see that. So one girl in my fucking a couple uh, apartments over moved in here when she was like 25, 26. And I was painting her apartment when she moved in. And when she moved in, I was like, oh, wow, hottie. New hottie in the building. I'm going to try. Oh, I can't. Maybe, maybe I can fuck her. You know, oh, 
But and it, I, I was so I, I was so attracted to her. I can remember like as she would leave at seven thirty in the morning, and I would peek out the window. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's so hot. Now, oh, four, three, four years, four years later, hit the wall every morning walking her fucking dog, walking her children. She posted on Facebook, my children, walking your children, making cleaning up their shit. There's one girl on my Facebook, this girl that I that I fucking got into when I was drunk. I basically called her out. Uh, yeah, I, I talked about her in, in one of my previous videos. I'm not sure what the subject was. But she posts all the time videos with her in bed with her dog kissing on the face. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on with you and that dog when, you know, behind closed doors? It's unbelievable. Anyway, she since deleted me from Facebook. Okay, guys, please comment, please like, please share, please click the bell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have like 536 subscribers now. I'd like to get it to become uh, huge or whatever, my channel huge if I can. I've also set up a Patreon. Anybody can donate if you want to uh, basically give me a little bit of pat on the back and some encouragement. It's in the link below. And that would make me feel good and be uh, motivated. It make me feel appreciated, but if you don't want to, that's fine. You can tell me to go fuck myself. It's fine. I just hope you enjoy my content. Don't take shit from any fucking feminist. Okay, let's get this straight right away. So if any girls are going to hate on me, okay, I love women. I want to, I go on the bus, I'm foaming at the mouth. I want to fuck them all, all the hot ones. But I, I do not like feminists. I don't like feminist ideology. I don't like feminist man-hating. This is what I'm talking about. If you're, if you're offended by me, what's the Maybe this, maybe I'm not talking about what I'm talking about. I'm talking about feminist man haters. This is what I'm talking about. The good women, the fucking the waltz or the, the, the uh, unicorns. I love them. I love them. Girls who are pleasant to be around. Love men. I love them. Fem women, feminists. I can't fucking stand. You can all go straight to hell. And if you hate men, don't accept their fucking, don't accept their chivalry and don't accept their fucking resources. Because we're done with you. I, I'm not putting up with any more feminist shit anymore. I'm not fucking giving my resources to any more feminists. When I'm in public now, I don't even hold the door for women anymore. Especially, like, I don't even... Like, if the subway's full and I see fucking women come on, I'm not fucking standing. You're not getting my seat. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I'm not giving you my seat. Fuck it. You hate me anyway. Uh, and I'm man I'm manspreading. I'm, I'm fucking... I am fishing on the bus now. Man, spready. I'm fishing for the one day the feminist says something to me. And if she says something to me, I'm going to be like, oh, it's on. Here you go. Bark, 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 bark. Out of my mouth. Bark, 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 bark. Fuck you, blah, 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 blah. I cannot, I'm fishing. I'm, I'm, I'm frothing at the mouth for the day the feminist says something to me about my man spreading. I don't fucking open the door for women anymore. I don't fucking give them my seat. I don't pay for them anything. Fuck it. No more. I am done. Feminists hate us. They can go fuck themselves. But I, I uh, and I've noticed too, like women on my channel, they don't attack me on my channel. They give little smiley faces. I think it's because they're trying, the ones that come on the channel, Research MGTOW, are trying to prove to us that they, they're not like all the other women. I think. I'm not sure. I think Sandman talked about this. They come on our channel or they come on a MGTOW channel and they try to prove they try to inject it that they're nice and they're not like feminist ideology it's in, it's interesting anyway it's very interesting anyways this is the dude signing out everyone have a fucking great life grab her by the pussy donald trump fucking I, I want donald trump to get laid I, this is a great man i want him to get laid you know i don't want my president fucking stressed out you know not having any pussy i want the guy to get laid grab her by the pussy uh that the video the access hollywood view i love it uh i just i i what does he say I just start kissing them. Grab them and they, they do whatever you want when you're a star. You can grab them by the pussy. What's wrong with that? Girl wants to be, I've, been with, I've been with a ton of women. They love when you grab them by the pussy when you're making out. They fucking, oh, don't stop. <laughs> These fucking women are stupid, man. Okay, everybody, take care. Signing out.